Welcome to another episode of the Pastor Motivational Corner. As a little boy, I had childhood dreams. I had dreams of doing things for the future. I had dreams of achieving certain things. Of course, we are told that we should dream for the stars, or aim for the stars, and we should have big dreams on our screen. But have you ever thought about what is God's dream for you? You know, as I look at my life, I never thought that God would have taken a little boy from a little village in Victoria and cause him to go to the places that he has gone and be even where I am today. The way that I planned my life hasn't really worked out. God has always surprised me in the way he moves, in the way he functions. And I've come to recognize that my life, your life, is only an outworking of the will of God. Proverbs 16 and verse 9 said, The mind of man plans his ways, but the Lord directs his steps. It is God who determines your future. It is God who determines the next move you make. It is God who will determine where next you go. I'm afraid that too many of us are making big plans for the future without God. Too many of us, we are laying down strong foundations without God. A few years ago, I went back to Grenada and I said to my wife, we are going to get a piece of land and, and build a house and establish roots in Grenada. But a few years later, God shook his head and he said, not just yet. Folks, when your life is in the will of God, you have to follow him. Proverbs 19.21 says, Many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that will prevail. I've come to recognize that things don't just happen in your life. You are not working where you are working because you are qualified. Yes, you may have applied for that job, but you got that job because it is in God's will for you. Your house was not built or situated where it was simply because you had the money to buy it. Folks, the family you had, the person you married, it was not merely because of your good looks that attracted you to them or them to you. No, whatever happens in our life, it is all within the will of God. If God has something for you in life, there is nothing the powers of hell can do to keep it back from you. And I've come to recognize, folks, that we have to learn to stay within the sovereign will of God. That will of God that allows our lives to become an outworking of his plans. That's why Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says, for I know the plans that I have for you. Yes, God have big plans for your life. In fact, my wife was jokingly saying to me the other day, she said, I think that I should stop unpacking our suitcases because I don't know when God is going to call again. Folks, today, are you willing to move with God when he calls? Is your life an outworking of the will of God? Don't you worry about what the future holds. Don't you worry about what should have been yours and is not currently in your hands. Don't you worry about what you think is deserving to you and was not given to you. If God has something for you and it's in his will, it will be done. That's why folks, my challenge to you today is stay in the will of God. Stay in the plan of God. And sometimes God takes time, but his will will surely come to pass. Today, I want to make sure that I'm living in the will of God. I want to make sure that my life remains firmly rooted in his will. 
for my life. God bless you.